This is a video by Rich Prince. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. And what we're doing today is we are dealing with EGR problems, specifically insufficient flow. Sometimes you'll get an error code and it will say insufficient flow. So the first thing we want to do is look at our EGR, make sure that our pindle right here is not frozen. She's moving free. And the next thing we need to do is look for carbon buildup right here. Now what we can do that the EGR is off now is we can start the engine up and blow out some of this excess carbon in here. It will rev very high, but the rev limiter will prevent it from going any further than say about 4,000 RPM. Now, if that doesn't fix the problem, then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the intake and exhaust manifold and clean out our carbon even further. Now, once you have the intake and exhaust manifold off, you can see right here is the exhaust port that goes into the intake manifold. And there will be carbon that builds up in there. And if you take a small wire, you can poke at that carbon. Right there. I'm in the runner. It's all the way over to the other side of the head right there. And I can feel I'm chipping off the carbon. Alright. Now we use a little compressed air and we can you probably see some stuff blow out of there actually it blew out the other side <laughs> well th this one isn't blocked but you should have saw all the carbon that blew out the other side anyways if it was blocked it would blow out this side so now we're going to go over to the other side. Here is the port through the cylinder head. Here's the wire right here. And you can almost see the runner right here. See this? Down here. And right over here. That's what you're trying to clean out. So we got the wire all the way over to this point right here. So now we have to come in through the exhaust port. Now here is number four exhaust port. I've got the wire in it. See that right there? So if you keep putting the wire in there, you'll be able to chip away at the carbon right there. All right, now I've chipped away at that carbon. And I'm going to put some compressed air in there. And we'll see if we get any out of that port. Oh, yeah. See, that's all you have to do. Keep doing that. And you'll be able to clean out the cylinder head. Now that we have the intake manifold off, we can clean the carbon out of it also using another 1 16th welding rod here. I can come into port and scrape that carbon off.
hopefully you can see big pieces of carbon I'm scraping off. Now as far as this port right here, which we can call the vacuum port, that would be going over to the intake runner, which would have vacuum in it, and of course this is the uh, exhaust port side. There isn't much we can do with this one right here. Some people, they like to put some sea foam in here and try to dissolve the carbon that way. But uh, in most cases, there shouldn't be too much carbon in that one right there. But you can test that by, you know, putting your finger over it while it's running and see if you get uh, good suction there. But uh, in this manifold right here, you can see that most of the carbon lies right in this large one, which goes to the exhaust port. Now while you got your intake manifold on the bench, what you could do is blow some compressed air in this port right here. Make sure that she is nice and clear. You can hear and feel the air coming out of that one. So she's pretty clear on this one. And that's my look at solving the insufficient EGR flow problem on the Saturn S series.